Okay, welcome back YouTubers for part two on the Military Anglehead Flashlight Mods. And I promised you a new product from Fulton that makes this even better. But before I get to that, I realized in my last video I neglected to do a shake test after we've done all our modifications. We got our three rings here to make a nice deep cavity for our survival gear. And uh, I won't go into what goes in there, you've already seen it. But I cut my piece of sheet rubber and put in here so this would all seal up. So now we're going to give it the shake test, see if it makes noise. A tiny bit of noise, and that's probably from the batteries where the positive and negative of the D-cells touch and they rub a little bit. But there's no rattle in the cap from the lenses anymore, so that's a win-win. So now we're going to get to this awesome new product. So what makes the Military Angle Head Flashlight even better? Well, LED conversion kit. Look at that. Look at that. And this is from Fulton. See, it's got the Fulton Industries banner at the top. It's a special LED bulb and these two little gems. It turns a D cell into a double A cell. A double A cell snaps inside these. And we're going to give you a part number here. It is part number BAT-LED-CS. There's some nice contact info from Fulton. I'll put that down in the description. And I gotta say, this is awesome. Now, a little bit of info on this before I get into it. I talked to Jim Bauman, who's their sales manager at Fulton, about this. And when we were talking about it, I said, well, you know, other companies make uh, D-cell LED replacement bulbs, like uh, Maglite, for instance, makes one. And he said, well, yeah, that's true, but he said, the big difference between their light and our light their LED light was specifically designed for the shape of their reflector to get maximum light output. So I said, wow, that's, that's something. I mean, you designed it specifically for it. So we're going to go ahead, before we do this, we're going to weigh it to give us an idea. This is our modified light. We'll turn our little scale on here. Okay, and it's set right now to pounds. Now we got our survival stuff in here. We got D cells in here, the regular light. Okay, its total weight is 15 and 1 8 of an ounce. Let me switch that over to kilograms for our other folks out there. 430 grams. Okay, remember those, those weights. Uh, let me turn that off while I switch this stuff around. Okay, we're going to pop this open. We're going to get these goodies out of here. And we're going to set it up. So, to change your, your light bulb, you just undo this. Your light bulb unscrews out of here. Now, I wouldn't throw this light bulb away. I'd keep that. Put your LED bulb. Ain't that something? Put it in there, put your sleeve back in, screw it down. So there's the LED bulb. Now we still got our D cells in here. I want to see how bright this is. Holy moly, Batman. That is like stupidly bright. Wow. Okay, that impresses me, but I want to see what it looks like with the double A cell modification. So we're going to take our D cells out of here, set them aside, and I got some dollar store A cells. Yep, that's right. I'm a cheapy. Okay, like I said, you could use your, and there it is in there, you could use rechargeable batteries. I'm going to show you. It just unclips, folds open, take your 
A cell sets in there, double A cell I should say, and then they go in, and they go in, and we tighten this guy down. <clears throat> okay, let's see if it's just as bright. Oh yeah, it's just as bright. Wow. Okay, now let's turn our scale back on, and we're going to weigh this. First we're going to do pounds. Eleven ounces. What was it before? Fifteen something? Let's do kilograms. Three hundred and eleven grams. Okay. The final test I want to do, I want to see if I can light some steel wool off of these smaller batteries. Because if I can, this is a win, 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 win in my book. Because you have a lighter flashlight without losing any of the functionality. And to me, that's, that's awesome. So we're going to pause the recording. I'm going to set up here for another burn, and we'll be right back. All right, YouTubers, we're back. So we're going to get our gear here ready. We've got our Vaseline cotton ball. We're going to slice that. There we go. Tear that open. Squeeze it out. Which, by the way, I found that's the easiest way to do it. You squeeze it out just like toothpaste. Fluff this up a little bit. It'll burn any other way, but I find if you fluff it up, you add a little more oxygen to it, it burns a lot easier. Because fire needs oxygen. Okay. There is our Vaseline cotton ball. Like I said, that would go in your tinder. We've still got our flashlight. And to show you, I didn't switch anything around. we still got our flashlight with the double A cell conversion from Fulton in there back together so nobody calls shenanigans on me look at that it's nice and bright okay we're gonna unscrew this we got our electrical connections in there one here one here got our steel wool let's do this wow holy moly did you see that I either got really lucky or that was a heck of a lot easier than the other way. Almost burnt my fingers. Well, you saw it. I lit it from two double A batteries. So, that's just a win-win to me. Get all the steel wool out of there. Oh, here we got a flashlight that weighs a lot less. It's super bright. You can use double A batteries. Give it the shake test. And that's awesome that those don't rattle like the double A batteries, that I don't have to do anything to them. So there you go. Uh, <laughs> the Fulton Industries Angle Head Flashlight Mod. I hope you enjoy. Now I am going to do a part three to this video series. We're going to go out in the woods. It's still winter here in Michigan, and I'm going to build a fire and light it with this setup, just like I've lit the uh, Vaseline cotton ball. We're going to build a fire, go the whole nine yards. So <laughs> I hope you stick around and watch part three and comment and all that good stuff. If there's anything you'd like to know, just ask. I have no problem sharing information, especially if this saves someone's life. Okay, moving right along. Be back soon.